Hi everyone, Jen again, and this review will explain why I yell unintelligible commands at random strangers hoping they will follow me into a dark alley. Eco was released in 2001 and developed by Team Eco. Team Eco, ugh, Team Eco, the developer that made me happy to own a PlayStation 2. With only two titles to their name, you'd think they wouldn't be much of a developer to talk about, but those two games are Eco and Shadow of the Colossus. It would really surprise me if you consider yourself an avid gamer and haven't at least heard about one of these two games. Team Eco carefully and meticulously developed each of their titles, producing some of the most beautiful and revered works of gaming art to date. In Eco, you play as Eco. He's a boy who's been locked up because he was born with horns and his townsfolk believe him to be possessed by the devil. He is placed in a crypt but manages to escape due to shoddy workmanship. As he's trying to find a way out, he meets this girl, Yorda, who speaks a different language. Eco is compelled to escape with her because I guess she's pretty hot, or maybe just because he's a good kid. Eco is a 3D puzzle platformer game. Yes, there's a slight element of combat, but since you can't die from being hit, the real goal is managing what you need to do in order to escape from the castle. You have to pull Yorda along with you throughout levels, which adds an interesting aspect of multitasking to Eco. Shadow demons are hell-bent on capturing her for the queen, so if you leave Yorda all by her lonesome in order to solve a puzzle, chances are shadow demons will drag her into the black pits that they spawn from. But don't fear, noble gamers. Team Eco didn't lean on this method of gameplay for the duration. Get into the thick of things and you'll find out for yourself. When I'm playing Eco, I don't really feel like I'm being told what to do. The game is directing me in a very linear manner, but it's incredibly easy to forget that when you feel as though you have a large expanse of world to explore. There's the success right there. I feel like I have a huge world I'm exploring. In reality, I'm moving from puzzle to puzzle all in contained environments. Eco is just so compelling and very emotionally moving that you make your own way through each level without really being told you're making progress. I love the fairy tale world that Team Eco has created in this game. The characters are very well done and for a studio's first title, this game blows most convention and game design out of the water. The animations on the characters are impressive, specifically when you're dragging Yorda around. You can see that when she has no forward momentum that it can hold you back and how when you grab her arm and start running at full speed, it jerks her toward you. In an early PlayStation 2 title, that was incredible to see. And it's the little things that were woven into Eco that make this game so amazing. If you've never played Eco, you need to, like, right now. Seriously, get off the internet and play it. The game isn't too long, around 7 to 10 hours, and chances are one of your favorite games has been influenced by the design of Eco. This title is the very definition of classic. Ten years later and Eco is still hailed as one of the most pivotal games of all time. It's easy to play this game with a chip on your shoulder saying, overrated, but the truth is that the game industry itself has been Eco's biggest collective fan. So when you play Eco, try to just relax and instead of expecting some specific experience, just become immersed and let it happen. The best way to pick up Eco is probably eBay or another online vendor as any retail store selling used copies has put a high price on nostalgia. Luckily, Sony has slated to release an Eco Shadow of the Colossus compilation for the PS3, so if you want to hold out and get a shiny updated version of not one, but two amazing games, you won't have to wait for too long. Also, keep an ear to the ground for the third game in this series, The Last Guardian, which should also be dropping on the PS3 at the end of the year.